Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Funny thing happened, I forgot to save between this part and last part, so I had to redo 1, 2, and 3 in the D world here. That was douchey. <laughs> let's just get this started. D-4, let's go. Um, I do admit that I save spammed my way here with save states, whoops. Uh, all the way back over here because of the fact that I just didn't feel like redoing those last three stages on the same day. Yeah, I'm recording this on the same day as before, so I just decided to save spam my way through here like that. Don't worry, I'm not going to be using save states for it as before. But still, the thing was, urgh, you know, I'll, I'll just save here to prove I'm not using save states. And then later on when I'm finished, I'll reload that state. Okay, so as I said before, this is the remake of Castle 8-4, and there should be a poisonous mushroom here, at least I think there would be one, or, well that's nice, <laughs> a pleasant surprise compared to what this game normally throws at you, and whoopsie doodle, that's okay, it was for exploration purposes, we found that the lava is indeed painful and does kill you once you fall into it and that's not something that you should do so don't explore in the lava anyway we gotta kind of work our way through this yeah as i said it's a remake of 8-4 so all this is oof, all this is very familiar stuff i just have to get myself reacquainted with the castle here though i did notice this peculiar piranha plant here no you can't go down it okay i just wanted to be sure if i was like missing something that was a close one. <laughs> so I went a little bit too late there, but I was just in time, evidently. Not going to question it too much, and... Oh, no, 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 I can't go there. There we go. Well, I took a hit, but that's alright. We will make it through together. Is Can I go down here? No. Can I go down here? No. I'm get, Yeah, this is, as I said, a remake. I don't remember... Which of these pipes I was supposed to go... Oh, I, or I'm supposed to go down, excuse me. Maybe that one. You never know, I guess we'll see. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be trying all the pipes as I go through here. And hopefully I'll be able to keep a power up as I go too. And now that I don't have to jump underneath that tight squeeze, you know, like down below. Whoa! That platform there, I don't really have to worry about it as much as I did before. Uh, okay, we got... And now I can't go down there, so I just best run. I hit the ceiling. And it made me plunge into the lava. And that made me quite sad, especially since I got a tiny bit of progress. Okay, enough with that voice. So, mushy, and... That was horrendous. <laughs> yeah, I have to kind of get used to this castle again. Uh, or I should say the main design of this castle. Uh, so basically, I don't know where I'm supposed to go to this time, because as I said, I haven't played this game in years. I just remember that there was a remake of that horrendous 8-4 castle. Yeah. Uh, I'm never going to get that timing right, am I? <laughs> well, I guess that's why they give you a mushroom. Okay, and... That's not too bad. I think I'll have more success... Ah! success here if not for the random fish that got in my way there yeah i was gonna say because i'm a i'm small mario rather than big mario and i won't hit my head on the ceiling and we're gonna spawn that fire bar and go through it there we go hopefully i'll be able to finish this level in 15 minutes <laughs> that would be a preference that i would like very much but it doesn't look like it's gonna be Anywhere close to that at this rate. <laughs> uh, perhaps I should have rehearsed this castle or something first. I don't think they made it any harder, despite that initial fire bar there. And that falling platform in the later section of it. Uh, it's just that I'm playing like a doofus. <laughs> That's just how things go sometimes with me and this game. You've seen that and how it went, so it shouldn't be a surprise to you. Okay, so we're back over here. Now we gotta avoid the fish invasion, preferably without any death. Okay, 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 what am I? Wait, 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 wait. Here? Please, tell me. What the? No! 
No! Oh, that worked for me. <laughs> uh, why are we outside with the wind and Koopas? I should have went underneath him. Hmm. Ah. Oh! Oh! Well, that's interesting. I just kind of like despawned the fire bar there. That could be useful, that's for sure. Getting it off screen like that. That's so I only have to time myself with those two. I don't know if you would really. Ah. Ah! That wasn't supposed to do that. Alright, we're back over here, and hopefully I'll be able to take on the Hammer Brother. Okay, he's not all that bad because he's like below my jumping range, and I start off on a pipe without having to worry about his, uh oh, without his momentum and stuff like that. You get the idea. So, now we've got a blooper for whatever reason. I would think that your skin would get pretty dry being outside of water, but mm, I don't know. Uh, wait, 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 what the? That was a close one. Seriously, I thought it despawned. I would like to check to see if... No, you can't go down there, okay. Just wanted to be sure. Um, Uh-oh. I think I'm gonna need some... Running room! What?! That... Was... Douchey! Oh my god, made it here with a power-up. Praise Rosalina. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to get past that... Oh! That was horrendous. I was gonna say, hopefully I'll be able to get past that piranha plant in the pipe. Way back on the other side with that surprise attack. That was the dumbest thing ever designed. Well, I shouldn't say it's, it wasn't dumb. It was clearly placed there to kill you. But the thing is that it's so incredibly discouraging because it's like, hey, that's just one Kaizo obstacle that we're gonna have to get past, so... There was probably like 80 or 90 more of them throughout the remain remainder of this level that we're gonna have to learn. Oh man, that's so much fun for the player. We just love making the players do stuff like this. Oh ho 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 ho, and the players are en ending up crying. I know I've shed tears. Tears of blood. <laughs> throughout the course of this walkthrough, don't bite me. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Just gonna run for it. There we go. There's only that small fish invasion there, so it's not really all that much of a big deal uh, at that point. So then you just end up at this pipe. Now, this part over here I can tell isn't all that bad, except for random hammer brother there, which whoa may cause a little bit of trouble. This part I was rushing, which is why I took that hit there. And yeah, this part I definitely shouldn't have rushed at all. This is not hard to get past in the least. You, that way, please. Plocks, thank you. And there we go. See, it's not really all that bad. And now this is the spot. What am, what am I supposed to do here? Exactly. Am I supposed to, like, scroll the pipe slightly on screen to get him to pop out? Ah, okay. I, I can see him just, like, barely peeping out now. So, there we go. Now, how were you supposed to know to do that? on your first run. Come on, anyone, can you answer that? Without being a psychic. That's the phony baloney thing anyway. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna be doing here is hopefully timing myself for the win and do I want to go over or do I want to go in the pipe? <sighs> oh, I can't go over, never mind. It just looked like the screen was gonna scroll more that way. Anyway, oh bonus zone! It's happy-go-lucky and anything. It just seemed like the kind of spot that there would be an invisible box of sorts. Okay, can I go? No, I can't go back in the pipe. Just wanted to make sure. Hello, Bowser. I'm going underneath you. <laughs> I, I don't even know why oh, anyone would bother with that. And I gotta r rush that hammer, brother, when I get there next time. OMG! Okay, let's try our luck back in this area. Um, I should mention something really quick as long as I'm here. This is why I decided to put the castle into the last... I mean, I should say the castle into its 
only uh, singular level part in the entire walkthrough because of the, thing, the fact of that I figured this castle is going to be ridiculously hard, so I thought that would be a pretty good idea rather than ex it extending apart by probably like 15 minutes, just, you know, it being in its own level, so to speak. You get the idea, and... Yeah, so we're getting back into the final area here. I am hoping that it's gonna go well because we got fake Bowser here and I'm just gonna skittle- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, I wanted to duck slide underneath there and- Oh! There we go, there we go. Uh... Oh, I'm so frightened! I can deal with the- Oh no! Random Poto Boos! Oh, I, I sh- oh. I should also mention something else, um, what's next to do after this Mario, I was thinking to myself one day, like, I don't do any RPGs, you know, Mario RPGs or RPGs in general, I can't record N64 or DS games, so that pretty much leaves only Galaxy 2 next. Now, because of the sheer amount of requests, it annoyed me to the point that I just don't want to do Galaxy 2. I just don't care. <laughs> That's really the main reason why I don't want to do Galaxy 2 now is because the huge flurry of requests on the game. And I've said this many times before that I don't take requests, but people don't listen. Yeah, so I just can't do Galaxy 2 and there's just so many requests for it. It's just too dang annoying and people will probably say, well, stop the request, you can just do the game. No, 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 that's not, that's not how I work. When, when, I, when I'm annoyed into the point that, uh, that people keep asking me to do something, I instinctively rebel against it. And, he, and even if I actually did start it at this point, it would be terrible because I wouldn't be in the mood to do the game, so there's no point in doing it. And that's kind of the problem here. And that's why I won't be doing Galaxy 2 anytime soon, and I was also thinking that since there really isn't any other Mario games I could do, I'm gonna have to start branching out into other franchises and in turn sort of kind of retire Mario, so to speak, from the channel. I mean, there just really isn't all that much left to do. And no, I'm not gonna be doing any Mario hacks, because I don't I don't really like playing from an emulator like this. Uh, I, I think I explained this before, but because of the fact that my family walks in and out of the room every once in a while, it just destroys my mojo in the game, so to speak. You know, I, I can't relax and commentate and play through the game when it's, like, in front of a live studio audience, so to speak. It's awkward. <laughs> this is, this walkthrough thing, or let's play thing, whatever you want to call it, I always call them walkthroughs, is the kind of thing that I would, oh, crap. I would always do solo. It just feels way, way too awkward doing it with other people in the room. Okay, guys, home stretch. I have a feeling that I'm not going to make make it past this part without a mushroom. I just have a very strong feeling about that because of the fact that these Hammer Brothers and the Potoboos, and you get the idea. And there's also the fact of that annoying platform there, and I'm gonna have to follow this Potoboo down. Holy crap! That is the end of the stage! Oh, I'm so freaking close! Whoa, post-commentary this time. This is unbelievable. Yeah, I... Just had to show this winning run here to prove that I didn't cheat this final level or anything like save state, like with save states or something <laughs> like that, excuse me, or rewinds or anything like that, em all those emulator tricks. Because as I explained earlier in the part with that subtitle, I forgot to reload the state to prove that I didn't cheat, so I'm gonna have to do this with post commentary. And rather than just redoing this section, the reason why I'd like to do post commentary on this is because this was a pretty special run. Uh, when you get, well, you'll see as I get up to it. Like, you'll see I'll do a nice run through here and then do a really stupid mistake by hitting this fire bar. That I just couldn't believe. It really was a hit to my confidence at that point because I did a really good run, I kept my power up, and then it was like, ugh, there it goes because I had to rush the fire bar. And then I bypassed the Hammer Brother pretty nicely, and then you get to this blooper part where I barely made it over the block thanks to the blooper. So that was the next unique part of this uh, final run here. 
then I carefully nudge the piranha plant on screen so I can see it. And then I make a break for it and go into the bonus pipe area thing. And now I will return you back to live commentary now. Final area once again. This first section right here, no problem whatsoever. I mean, Bowser just hangs up there and it's like nothing goes on. And that can Hammer Brother there is okay if you just rush past him. But this one, this Potobu right here, if it comes up fast, you're screwed. <laughs> you can't fall faster than the Potobu pops up, basically. Okay, so we got hammers. No Potoboos with Bowser here. So I might actually be able to get past him here. He seems to be jumping kind of randomly, though. Uh, I have I first have to get underneath his hammer stream. But at the same time, it's kind of blocky with the... Yes! The game is done! Oh. <laughs> I am happy this was over. I had a great time playing through this game. But it was annoying at times. Oh. You're welcome. And for some reason, the princess got captured once again in between, like, 8-4 and now. How? How did that even happen? How does that even work? It was just like we went from 8-4 to 8-1 and the princess was already captured and we were on another quest to save her. It made absolutely no sense, but you probably shouldn't question the game logic. Otherwise, the universe will implode as shown before, and then you're gonna have to call Rosalina to help fix it. She's gonna have to call her Lumas. Ah, you get the idea. Well, anyway, as I said, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and I will see you in the next walkthrough. Doo -doo -doo. To those wondering, yes, I do own the original Super Mario All-Stars on the Super Nintendo right here. It comes complete with Super Mario Bros. 1, two, three, and Lost Levels. You'll also be able to find this game as a remake on the Wii, and you can also find these games individually on the Wii's Virtual Console. Again, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and I will see you later. This was PKGAM, stealing all of your sandwiches, and eating them too, because I'm hungry. <laughs>